Hey, what's going on guys? Coconut, and t today welcome to a brand new series that I call Brawlers Extensively Overviewed. The way this series works is that I'll be going through a summary or overview of each brawler. We'll go in order and slowly get all the way through everyone. Today we'll be starting off with Shelly. Shelly's the very first brawler you start with, as I know that as many of you brawlers should know that. Um, she's what you can call a common brawler, and um, she's called Shelly since she fires shotgun shells. That's pretty straightforward, and her brawler description is Shelly's Spread fire shotgun blasts the other team with buckshot. Her super destroys cover and keeps her opponents at a distance. So, and her brawler class is what you would call a fighter. And her health is quite moderate and so is her damage. Her movement speed is about at 720 or what you would call normal. And at a level 1, she has 3,800 health. Level 2, she has 3,909. Level 3, she has 4,180. 4, she has 4,370. Out of 5, she has 4,560. Out of 6, she has 4,750. Out of 7, she has 4,940. At 8, she has 5,130. And finally, at the level 9, she has 5,300. 5, I'm sorry, 5,320 health. And her main attack is called a, is called buckshot. And the description reads: Shelly's boomstick fires a wide spread of pellets to a medium range. The more pellets hit, the greater the damage. This clearly means that at a closer range to an opponent, the more damage and more effective her attack would be, as m many shotguns are. This also would mean that she could very much easily be able to eliminate any close range brawler, like El Primo, Rosa, and other people. Um, her attack range is at a 7.67 or long, but her gadget, Clay Pigeons, boosts up to a 10. We'll get to that later. And it takes approximately 1.5 seconds for her to reload, and every attack includes 5 shells. Um, and at a level 1, each shell would do about 300 damage. At level 2, each shell would do 315. Level 3, each shell would do 330. Level 4, each shell would do 345. At level 5, each shell would do 360 damage. And at level 6, each shell would do 375. At level 7, each shell would do 390 damage. At level 8, each shell would do 405 damage, and at level 9, each shell would do 420 damage. So if you got all those numbers and you multiplied it by 5, well, each level, then that's how much damage she would do up close in one shot. Now let's talk about her super. Her super is called Super Shell, and her description reads as follows. Shelly's Super Shell obliterates both cover and enemies, and survivors get knocked back. That's, it's pretty much like Buckshot, but it does more damage and has it significantly more spread by about an increase of 20 degrees. Um, it also destroys obstacles and pushes enemies. Since it can also push back, it can shut down some other brawler supers like Franks, Colts, Ricos, and other people. And the range is the same as Buckshot, but the spread is, just like I said, way more increased by 20 degrees. And here's a very good thing. Buckshot shoots five shells, but Super Shell shoots 9, so that's actually very good. And at a level 1, the super would do 320 damage per shell. At a level 2, 336 damage per shell. 3, 352 damage per shell. 4, 368 damage per shell. 5, 384 damage per shell. 6, 400 damage per shell. 7, 416 damage per sh uh, shell. 8, 432 damage per shell. And finally, level 9, Shelly would be 448 damage per shell. Multiply that by 9, you get a lot. And now her gadgets. Each gadget gets three charges, and she has two gadgets. Her first gadget is called Fast Forward. The description reads as follows. Shelly dashes ahead, skipping a few unnecessary steps. That's pretty straightforward, I would say. And the dash is about three tiles long, which is actually pretty good distance. And she is not able to cross rivers using this gadget, but she can definitely uh, have it be used to get into someone's face and absolutely obliterate them, either with Buckshot or her super. The second gadget is called Clay Pigeons. The description is that on activation, Shelly's next main attack focuses the fire to a smaller area and increases the range. It's also pretty straightforward. Her attack spread is significantly decreased, so it's more narrow, but her range increases from 7.67 to, to 10 tiles. That's pretty good. And there will be a circular symbol that will hover above Shelly, and your joystick will glow. And it would not go into its cooldown state until it has been fired. Um, now let's talk about her star powers. 
Her first star power is called Shell Shock, and the description is that Shelly uh, super slow uh, shells slow down enemies for four seconds. Again, that's pretty straightforward. Um, the slowdown is actually very, very powerful and strong, and this is actually able to help Shelly and her teammates rush enemies or run away from them. Um, and her next star power is called Band Aid. Um, the description is that when Shelly falls below 40% health, she instantly heals for 1,800 health. Band-Aid recharges in 15 seconds. Again, pretty straightforward. However, however, there are a few important aspects. For example, if her health is above 40%, she gets killed in one hit by a person like a bull or any other very strong brawler who might have like a lot of power keep, she won't be able to heal. And once she respawns, this is what kind of sucks, she has to wait another 15 seconds before she can receive another Band-Aid. Um, and no matter what, even if she has 20 power cubes or 500, she will only heal 1,800 health. And um, so what I'm saying is that it doesn't matter how many power cubes you have. And Shelly does have a few disadvantages, but she does have some advantages. Um, well, she's very good in bush, um, in bush maps like this solo map. It's very, very good. Like, look, rushed on that bull, killed him in one hit with my super after, and that makes her a very good brawler, but only if her environment includes bushes. Like, watch that. Destroy. Um, but however, though, she she needs to get in their faces, and um, very soon I will be showing you guys some of my fail attempts at Shelly, but honestly, if she doesn't get in their faces, it's not going to be that good. Like, look, that Tara just won't let me get in her face. And very soon you'll see this Rosa just won't let me really get in her face. So I'm doing very minimal damage. And very soon you guys will see me totally get destroyed by a lot of people because they have way longer range than I do. And, um, like, look, this Tara is going back and just not letting me get in her face. And there, I'm dead. And watch this. If there's no bushes, she will not do that good. Um, as you guys can see. Look, I mean, look how much damage that still does, and does create a path for them, uh, for enemies and teammates to go through. But she really needs to have a bush, otherwise she just can't do well. Look, look watch right here, completely dead. Um, and another disadvantage she has is that she is not the best at Bravo. Um, it's pretty hard for her to stay alive for that long, and since she doesn't have that much health. It should be pretty quick for the enemies to wipe her out if she is holding the ball since she can't attack back. However, though, she does have Band-Aid. That would be pretty good in Brawl Ball if she's carrying the ball. And uh, Shell Shock would also be pretty good in Brawl Ball. Uh, but I don't think that she's the best for Brawl Ball. The good thing about Brawl Ball is that um, she can knock back enemies so they would drop the ball with her super. And she can dash forward, to throw her the ball and dash forward. That's kind of helpful, I guess. Um, Shell Shock would slow down the brawlers, so that's actually pretty good. And uh, she can destroy the obstacle, so she can make it easier for teammates to be able to score, which again is pretty good. But like I said, if a map does not have bushes or walls, I don't think Shelly would be that good in it. I think she would die very quickly. And she will not, she won't last long and do that great. And also, she is not that fast. She is a normal speed, as are many brawlers. But thing is, though, many brawlers are long range. She's not that long range. She can die very easily. And um, you guys will see in a second, I'm going to be fighting a lot of people who have longer range than I do. And I won't be living for that long. And honestly, Brawl Ball is not her game. I think Heist. She'd be very good since her super can just do a lot of damage to the safe. Um, bounty, if that bounty map has a lot of bushes, then she can absolutely destroy because she can sneak up on them and do very good. Um, and you guys will see in a second right about here. Uh, you can see, click right here. I'm going to be fighting a bow. Right? No, not, not this bow. It's a different bow. But um, look... He's also just backing up and attacking me, you know, I can't do much damage. I can do a little bit of damage, but just not much at all. And, 
I'm gonna be showing you guys a lot of my fails as Shelly. Cause look, watch this guy. He he knows what's coming. He knows that I can't get close to him if he keeps walking backwards and he can just easily do damage. And honestly, that is Shelly's biggest disadvantage. Um, the amount of damage she'll do from a far range is nothing. But she isn't, um, she is good at killing El Primo's. But watch right here. If that El Primo can get hits on me, I'm dead because I don't have much health. And that El Primo knows he has significantly more health than I do. And, um, honestly, Shelly, I think, is pretty good for a starting brawler. I mean, she gets you a lot of those easy, um, kills and wins and trophies. And, um, it is, like I said, hard for her to last long. Um, you can get a lot of really good wins in solos. Like, watch. Um, if a bow sneaks up on me, I, I, I'm sorry, if a bull sneaks up on me face to face if, and I don't have my super, I'm not going to last long at all. I mean, bull could easily destroy me. He does like two times more damage than I do. And But if I have my super, I could have killed that guy, but I didn't. And um, here's another thing. Here's a very good advantage. Her super charges quite fast. I mean, she'll get that pretty quickly. I mean, after, even if she does direct hit with a super, one more hit, and then she will get her super. That is what I think is her strongest thing about her, is that she can get her super very quickly. I mean, she's one of the fastest charging. I mean, she's not like Crow, who's very slow. Um, because And that's just because she can do a lot of damage. But far range is just not enough. I mean, she that super, though, is pretty good. I mean... I have to admit, that's a pretty good super. It charges very quickly also. And, um, that is pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much what I have for Shelly, statistically and strategically. Now, let's go and look at some of her skins, and I'll explain to you about, like, gem costs and how they look. Alright, guys, now I'm going to be showing you guys um, all the Shelly skins. The default one, you get that obviously right away. Star, I don't remember how you get, but you can get it for free from some point. Bandita, for 30 gems. Um, PSG, you can get it free from the PSG Cup or for 80 gems, which you can get for 150 gems, but only during, like, Halloween. And, um, next, the True Silver is for 10,000 coins. Once you get them, no Star Park. Um, True Gold, 25,000 coins right after you buy True Silver. Um, that's it for all the skins. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And, um, I'll be seeing you guys next time. And, uh, if you guys have also any brawler suggestions... For me to play in the future. Be sure to put that on the comments. And also you guys are able to join Mango's club. It's called Milky Way. I put a link in the about page. I don't know if it works. If it doesn't let me know. And I'll see you guys next video guys. Goodbye.